people in Canada, people in Norway, people in the United Kingdom, the people in Sweden, people in Denmark, they don't all come to the United States for health care. Why do you say that? Nowhere on the face of the earth is there a free health insurance market that works? There is no actual free market health system. And that's because uh, no profit making company would ever choose to willingly insure a sick person or an old person. They just don't do it. So the only way this works is as a risk pool. Now, the only way to cover as many people as you can with a risk pool is to do what most countries, most uh, modern countries have done, and that is a single payer health care system. Let's actually bring back so, affordable insurance let me for working class families. Where were, there was never affordable affordable insurance. I'm a business guy. I'm a capitalist. Mm -hmm. If you could show me a system where this actually works, uh, an unadulterated free market system where the market handles it all, I would embrace it. But this is what we in business call a market failure. If you could point me to one and say what that a free market works, it's just one of those areas that a free market doesn't work. Worldwide, right. it has never actually worked. Unless there's someone forcing everybody to get insurance, the private markets won't do it on that. Yeah. You see it all it's the just time. Not true. People in Canada come here for, for extensive surgery. They come here and get it done in the United States. Sir, I, I grew up in Canada. I live in Canada. My entire family's in Canada. Nobody I know ever came we, to the United States for health care. I'm sure you have a handful of stories about things like course. that. It's not actually statistically true. There's no rush for people to come to America where health care costs twice as much per person as anywhere else in the developed world. You know, sir, that in all those countries, all the developed countries that have single-payer systems or universal health care, happiness about health care is actually substantially greater than it is in the United States. Then why do they all come here? They don't all come here. They don't all come here. You Republicans say that all the time. They don't all come here. They don't all come here. Afterward on Twitter and, and, and anecdotally, I checked to say, am I out of touch because I've been living in the United States for a while? And everybody told me the same thing. No. There are dotting the Canadian-U.S. border in places in Washington State and Michigan and, and, and up, upstate New York. There are MRI clinics, x-ray clinics, things like that, where if you don't want to wait to get your MRI and you're prepared to pay cash for it, you can do that. There's no real medical care that Canadians are coming to the United States for. And certainly, when it comes to prescription health, it's the other way around. Americans go to Canada, yes. either online or or physically to get their drugs. In all of those countries that I named in that clip, people in Canada, people in Norway, people in the United Kingdom, the people in Sweden, people in Denmark, outcomes are better, life expectancy is longer,